Hi, welcome in. May 26. Disney Peter Pan. A Neverland Story. It was a cold winter night and John and Michael just couldn't get to sleep. They climbed onto the bed of their older sister, Wendy. Oh, tell us a story, Wendy, said Michael. Yes, please, a Peter Pan story, pleaded John. Certainly, said Wendy. Have I told you about the time that Peter Pan outsmarted the evil Captain Hook? Yes, said Michael eagerly. And we want to hear it again. Wendy laughed and began her story. Well, one night, Captain Hook moored his ship in a secret cove close to the island of Neverland. He and his men rowed ashore quietly, for he was intent on discovering the hiding place of Peter and the Lost Boys. Fortunately for Peter Pan, Wendy continued, his dear friend Tinkerbell learned of Captain Hook's evil plan ahead of time. She flew to Peter and warned him that the pirate was coming. Oh, ho, laughed Peter. Well, we, excuse me, we shall be ready for him then. Peter found a clock just like the one the crocodile who ate Hook's hand had swallowed. He whistled up into the trees and a group of his monkey friends appeared. Here's a new toy for you, Peter shouted, tossing the clock up to them. When Hook came to the clearing, the first thing he heard was the ticking, the ticking clock. The sound seemed to be cook coming at him from all sides. The monkeys were having a grand time, tossing the clock back and forth among the trees and creeping up behind Hook. Seized with terror, Hook and his men raced to their boat and rowed madly back to their ship. Just then, the darling children's parents came in to check on them. You're not telling more of those poppycock stories about Peter Pan, are you, Wendy? Their father asked. Peter Pan is real, father, cried the children. We know he is. As the parents kissed their children goodnight, they didn't see that a boy in green was crouching just outside the nursery window. He had been listening to the story and he would be back again soon.